Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about scarecrows. Right off the bat, I would like to give you all a little plot summary. So, the basic premise is you have this group of thieves. They, uh, they just pulled off this big heist. You don't get to see the heist, but um, I'm pretty sure they, they were able to steal around $3 million. So this group of thieves, they got away on a plane that they hijacked. They have the $3 million. One of the thieves decides to steal the money for himself. He takes the money, parachutes off the plane. Um, of course, the rest of these individuals, they want their effing money that they just stole and almost died for. So they all parachute off the plane and go to try to find this guy, get their money, um, while everyone is, so they, they parachute and they're in this woodland area. While they're in this woodland area, it's, it's very deserted. There's like a little rundown shack and a couple scarecrows. That's it. But while they're in this area, a lot of strange supernatural happenings occur. They're getting messed with and they start getting picked off and that is the basic premise. Just getting into my thoughts of the movie, one of the things that I was thinking before I watched the movie and while I was watching it is there really are not very many horror films that are centered around scarecrows, which in my opinion is kind of a shame because I think uh, there's something about scarecrows that I, they, the look of scarecrows, they look awesome. They're extremely scary. I don't know. I feel like why are there not, you know, more scarecrow themed horror films? You know, you have, in, in terms of monsters, you have a lot of werewolf films, you have a lot of zombie films, you know, vampire films. I think, you know, like living scarecrows are a pretty darn scary and legitimate monster and there there should definitely be more movies about them. I haven't seen a lot of movies about s scarecrows, but whenever I think of scarecrows, I personally think of uh, the Goosebumps episode, The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. Um, that's a fantastic Goosebumps episode. I'm a big fan of the Goosebumps show in general, and the Goosebumps books, they're thebomb.com. So whenever I think of Scarecrows, I think of that episode. I, I've i watched the episode. I don't recall if, if I read that book or not. I don't know if that's one of the ones that I read when I was younger, but that's a fantastic episode. Whenever I think of Scarecrows, that comes to mind. So I thought I would bring that up. I bet a lot of you all are fans of Goosebumps and uh, you know you, you have to shout out Goosebumps. I, I do a lot of horror movies on this channel so you, you gotta show love to Goosebumps. That's you know it's it's classic you know. But anyways I'm going to get into my likes now. Well actually before I get into my likes I'm just gonna give you my overall thoughts whether I liked it or didn't like it. So Here's the deal. Um, I thought this movie was okay. I wasn't a huge fan of it, but by no means did I hate it. But that being said, I don't, I don't really think that I would watch this again. But even though it wasn't my favorite, there was quite a bit that I liked about it. So I'm gonna get into my likes. Um, I thought it was very unique and original. Like I said, there's not too many, you know, scarecrow themed horror movies that I can think of. So that was cool. And the way that they went about it, um, you know, me being a fan of slasher movies, I just thought this was kind of going to be like a slasher movie where these people are just getting picked off and killed by uh, the scarecrows. But something that was, you know, made this movie unique was the fact that the scarecrows uh, they have all kinds of supernatural powers. They're messing with the people. 
that was awesome. Um, the scarecrows are actually, they're like these demonic spirits of these guys. They're these three guys and there's a picture of them in uh, this rundown shack. So that was pretty darn cool. I thought the the gore effects were really good. The creature effects were really good. At one point, there's this one guy and his mouth is all ripped up and his teeth are exposed. I don't think it's a monster. I think it's one of the guys who got killed. He, he got mutilated because like a lot of these guys, they get transformed by the scarecrows into these monster-esque people like they're like almost like undead I'll, I'll get to that later but um yeah the creature and gore effects were great um just to explain that one of my favorite parts was there's this one guy and he died earlier it was the guy who stole the money um from the other thieves so basically he gets killed the scarecrows are messing with him they they can uh change their voices and like get in your head so that guy, uh, he gets killed, but then he comes back and he's possessed. He won't talk. He's, you know, trying to kill the rest of the thieves. And they, like, see his chest. He, like, rips his shirt open or something. And his chest is all cut open and, like, sewed together. So basically, the scarecrows stuffed him full of all the money and a bunch of hay. So at this point, you know the people are freaking out because they're like yeah, yeah well earlier he was freaking out because he was driving the car and there was no engine just weird stuff's going on and then the people they kill him they chop off his head which i wrote that down in my likes as well that was a really smart decision i mean in a lot of movies they'll be like an unstoppable character and then people are just like let me just shoot him in the body or let me just stab him like no chop off their effing head you know so that not only was that like a smart character decision, the 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 head being chopped off looked really good. It didn't look fake at all. That, that looked pretty darn good. But anyways, I like that where he's all stuffed with the hay and the and the all the money and people started like once they because they like cut him open after because they saw the money coming out and they saw that he had like no internal organs and he was pretty much possessed by some supernatural entities. So they were like they started freaking out at that point people started like going crazy because all these weird happenings are going on and then the scarecrows are like messing with them even further so it it got crazy i'm just checking the rest of my likes here yeah i pr that's i pretty much uh went over all my likes i'm gonna go into my dislikes now so one of my uh, main dislikes is, okay, well actually I forgot to say this in my likes, this this was one more thing from my likes that will help explain my dislike, one of my dislikes. So the scarecrows in this movie look awesome. They're just, like, the character design is really cool, the makeup is cool, they look awesome. That being said, here's one of my dislikes. So. The scarecrows look awesome, and they're scary AF, but they're barely in the movie. They're probably in the movie for like five minutes tops. Most of their interaction with the characters is them messing with them, you know, like indirectly. So you don't really see the scarecrows, and when you do, do see the scarecrows, mostly it's not them coming to life. They're just like posted up on the you know, scarecrow stands, the little crosses or whatever. So that that was a big dislike for me. I thought the scarecrows were cool and I wanted to see more of them and they're barely in the movie. So that was super disappointing. Um, yeah, the, the characters are just not memorable at all. I watched this movie last night and I could not tell you one of the characters' names. Another reason that the characters, well, it's not a reason why they were not memorable, but another reason that I couldn't really mess with the characters that much is because they weren't really likable. Like, it was it was hard to root for them because they're these thieves. They're supposed to be the bad guys. So, I mean, they weren't like sympathetic characters, which, I mean, I guess doesn't 
does it matter there are characters with like ant I mean there are movies with like anti heroes and you know stuff like that where you're not necessarily following uh like a protagonist or like a good moral character with like you know good morals <laughs> I just repeating repeating stuff here but anyways yeah um yeah the characters weren't that memorable they weren't that likable in my opinion another thing is okay I did not think the acting was that great and you know I watch all kinds of like B horror movies and I'm I'm used to acting that's not the best you know this is this movie was made for around like 400,000 I don't expect it to have Oscar worthy performances but the acting was off like it was weird the way they would deliver their lines sometimes or react to stuff it was just it was weird it kind of took me out of it I, it wasn't even like funny it was just I don't know it was just something was off about it I didn't I didn't uh, really like that and uh, the last dislike that I wrote down is that to be, to be honest like I said I went over my likes there was a lot of stuff that this movie had going for it but overall I, I really did think it was pretty boring like towards the end I was waiting for it to end there was there was cool moments like when that guy was possessed and he was stuffed and then the guy with like the ripped up face was cool when you got to see the scarecrows that was cool but a lot of the stuff in between was boring I didn't care about any of the characters or what they had to say like none of their dialogue was interesting like this movie was pretty boring it had a short runtime. It it should have cut at a quicker pace I mean it was like an hour and 23 minutes but then I'm like when is this gonna end like that, that that shouldn't happen with such a short movie so yeah it, it was pretty boring but that being said I was pretty tired when I watched this so that could factor into it I don't know but I mean just going over my initial thoughts like when I was watching it like I did think it was boring so yeah that's basically uh, all my dislikes I'm just gonna get into I got a couple uh, WTF moments here so the first WTF I only have two and then I'm gonna I'll wrap things up after that probably so um, the first WTF moment is like I said at the beginning this one guy steals the money from everyone so you know when he's like initially in this woodsy area he's not with anyone so there's like no dialogue with other characters but instead of having him talk to himself all the dialogue with him is like his inner monologue and it's like you won't see his mouth moving but then you'll just hear his thoughts and, and that kind of like bothered me like it, it wasn't a big deal but I just thought that was strange like I was like what is going on I'm like why is he not moving his mouth oh this is inside his head which some movies do do that where you're hearing a character's inner monologue but this I don't know there wasn't really like a setup and I was like it took me a second I'm like what's going on I'm like and then I was thinking like why don't they just have him talk to himself like a lot of movies have characters talking to themselves and I don't know I personally talk to myself I don't answer myself so that's good I'm not crazy or anything but um shit if you are crazy whatever I don't I don't care you know I don't discriminate over here but anyways you know people talk to themselves just have the character talk to himself what, what what's up with this inner monologue thing voiceover thing I just I thought that was a weird choice and that that kind of uh, bothered me um, that's like a little nitpick but I don't know I'm just I'm giving you all my honest thoughts I'm keeping it real so yeah I that kind of bothered me um, and then my other WTF moment I could be totally wrong and I'm just paraphrasing but I swear I think this one guy when he was describing them he's like yeah they're demonic demons like my dude like what demonic demon just say they're demonic or they're demons like demonic demons like you're being redundant like what what like what the heck yo like demonic demons who who says that are you a real person I mean of course you're not you're a movie character but 
I don't know, I just thought that was weird. That didn't bother me, but I just thought that was funny and that was definitely a, a WTF moment. But anyways, um, I went over my likes, went over my dislikes, went over the WTF moments. So, you know, I'm about to wrap things up here. Like I said, there was a qu there was quite a bit that I liked about this movie. Um, there was quite a bit that I appreciated, and there was quite a bit that was cool. But overall, it was just okay. Wasn't a huge fan. I don't think I uh, would watch it again. And honestly, I probably would not recommend it. But I mean, if you if after listening to the video, if you if you still if you personally think it sounds interesting, it is free on Tubi right now. So you know, if if, if you want to check it out, it's on Tubi. But uh, anyways, I'm about to wrap up the video here. Thank you all very much for watching, and peace out.